Welcome to Off the Ranch. I'm here with Eric Cortina from Texas Barn Dominiums and Talon Sai. Did I get it right? That's right. That's Nailed right. it. What's up, man? Talon came down. Talon's a YouTuber as well. And he came down with this thing. Can you just tell me about this? Yeah, so it's a Sprinter van, Mercedes Sprinter van. It's outfit by Winnebago. It's technically called the Rebel. Four wheel drive. It's got everything you could possibly want, all the creature comforts shower, toilet, fridge, sink, Crazy. stove top. Can we just start with the bumper? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's uh, it's pretty beefy. Yeah, the, I'd say so. The plastic Mercedes one wasn't quite cutting it for me, so I have a 10,000 pound winch in there. The worn winch, the rigid lights. Rigid lights. I'm gonna add some more lights in the future, but this has been getting me by in Texas. You need a light bar on the roof up there. That's coming. I see you got a roof rack. Yep. So on the roof rack, there's a 10 foot awning. There's 200 watts of solar. Pull the awning out. Let's see it. See, there's everything. This is so crazy. Comes out automatically. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to put any supports in. It just comes out 10 feet. There's lights. Oh yeah. You need one of these, I think, right? You already got the gold, man. I don't know. If True. Yeah, you're right. My van's way cooler than yours. All right. Yes, yeah, so you got a shower. You got cooktop in here got a bathroom like a toilet and everything yeah, yeah oh the seats aren't even in the right way so you can't even drive this is like a storage closet shower toilet i keep my dirty laundry in there cabinets and multi-cam the yeah. hoods wrapped in multi-cam and then the back is pretty cool as well so he's got some max tracks up here he's got a big ladder to get onto the top of the roof rack is that ac on the top too ac on the top because down here in texas man i'm so glad i have that dude now. it is steamy here i got off the plane last night and i was like oh i forgot texas is hot <laughs> There's your bed, nice. That's where I sleep. The bed is on a lift, it goes up to the ceiling. I got my map there of uh, general route of everywhere I'm going. Oh, yeah, let's see this. That is cool. So what does red and blue mean? The blue is either friends or places that I want to visit. And yep. red is where I have visited. Very cool. And then storage. That's awesome. Fire pit, one wheel. Have you ever ridden one of those? No. Do you want to ride one on prob a vlog? Probably shouldn't, but okay. Okay. <laughs> he just asked me if I wanted a tutorial and I said, nah. I figure you just lean, right? Sort of. Oh yeah, that's that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Natural. Hey. Alright, you do it now. <laughs> yeah, it's good for off-road too. Oh that was cool. Kick flip. <laughs> it's going fast. Show off. Fun to shoot from too. <laughs> shooting drills like this. That's how people die. Well, Talon is on his way somewhere else in West Texas, right? West Texas, probably gonna go to Big Bend National Park and Sweet. then I guess to New Mexico after that. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, it's good man. seeing you. Thanks for having me. You can find him right here. I'm filming this just in case you fall. <laughs> Natural. I almost fell. Oh, you guys didn't come here to check out a sprinter van and Watch a couple dudes who don't know how to skateboard try to get on a one wheel. Well, too bad. That's what this entire episode is. I'm just kidding. We're going to get to the demo HQ. But first, I want to say Edward and Savannah, uh, they're two demolition members. They're having a baby and they do not yet know the gender of their baby. I do. I know the gender of their baby. And we're going to do it first for the Demolition Ranch and Off the Ranch channels. We are going to reveal a baby's gender to their parents right now. Edward and Savannah, I just want you to know, congratulations. I'm very proud to be welcoming the newest member of the Demolitia into the Demolitia family. And Edward and Savannah, you two are having a beautiful little girl. Congratulations, Edward and Savannah. Can't wait to see pictures of the beautiful little Demolitia girl. Congratulations guys. There have been some changes since last time you saw it. Today I've not really been filming. I've been hanging out just watching it go up. Eric, what's up man? How you doing man? So today we're getting all the Perlins. No, not Perlins. The ones on the side are called... Gerts. Called what? Gerts. Gerts? Yeah, it, they're Perlins. Perlin. Perlins anyway. Gerts. I always get, they always give me a hard time on my videos because I call them Perlins. Everything's a Perlin. Yeah, so they're basically these like kind of sea channels of metal that you can see right there, all the way across there, all the way across, and then these walls are made of them too. This wall is framed out for a window. There's gonna be another wall up in here, and that's what they're doing right there. There's a big post there, and that is going to be a door right there to get in. There's also gonna be a window framed over here. First, they gotta get that one that goes from top 
to bottom so they can get everything lined up in the right spots. Let's put the man door right there. It's gonna be a garage door over there. So that is what we are working on today. sheet the sides here and so this is our metal sheeting and what they'll do is they'll actually screw through the metal onto these dirts right here and they have to all line up all the screw holes have to line up or it'll look kind of weird and so to do that they actually drill the pilot holes through these so they're stacked right now these are all stacked they're gonna drill holes through those so they'll all go down all will be in the same spots so when they put each sheet up all the screws are in a nice line Looks really nice. Eric from Texas Bar Dominion was just telling me how they do that. Pretty cool little trick. He was like, how do you think you get them all lined up? I was like, I have no idea. I tried to think of a way and he was like, nope, nope, nope. And he's like, just drill all the holes together when they're stacked. I was like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense actually. Turns out he's smarter than he looks. This thing that he has right there in the middle, it keeps it from sagging. So it keeps those girts from sagging. That's a 24 foot gap going there. And right now it sags because there's nothing holding it up. Once the sheeting is on the outside, the sheeting will keep it from sagging. But right now he wants it to be straight so that it lines up with all these holes that they put in there. So he's using that just to prop it up until the sheeting is all on there. So when they screw it all in, all the screws hit the girt. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. So they have these little self-tapping screws. They'll just screw straight in there. That'll hold our first sheet up. And you may notice it seems a little tall right there. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm just kidding. Hey, they'll cut it later. It's happening. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, the back is almost done. You can see we have the trim up there, not up there yet. Trim on the side, trim on the side. This is our slab in the back, which we'll be putting this thing. Check out our 1,000 gallon water tank. So we have a peaked roof up there. So the water is gonna come down the gutter on the other side, it'll come down the gutter on this side, and both pipes will come connect and dump into this tank. This is from HarvestedRainSolutions.com. They're coming out here and gonna do our entire setup with this 1,000 gallon system. So there'll actually be a submersible pump that goes down into this thing. That is gonna be plugged into power, which ideally we'll have solar power on this thing, still working on that. That'll be plugged into power, so whenever we turn the faucet on, it'll turn the pump on, pressurize our pipes, and we'll have running water just like a normal house. All off of rainwater and solar power. That's the plan. And I'm yelling over this generator because we are still working, but almost done with the very last piece of metal on the front of this thing. I'm waiting to show you until we're all done. This metal building is from WD Metal Buildings. I'm gonna link them in the description below as well as Harvested Rain Solutions for helping make this thing possible. Eric and I just moved this thing back to about where it's gonna be. You like it there? I like it. Perfect. Look at it matching the building too. That black and gray. 
I like it. All right, so let me show you. We're gonna have the gutters come down the sides here, and then there's gonna be a, another one that comes over here to connect it to this. Let me show that to you. This is our downspout. Water comes in here, runs down this way, and we'll dump into the basket on top of the tank. This is the top. This is our basket here, so this collects leaves, and every once in a while you come and dump it out to keep all the leaves from going into your tank. This is a light guard in here, so it makes sure that light is not shining down into the tank because light getting in there will make algae grow. We don't want any extra stuff growing in this thing. So every so often, dump out leaves, that's pretty much all you need to do. This will just dump water right into there. That is our overflow pipe there, so we'll right, route that thing down in case we get tons of rain. And it, honestly, this tank probably will stay full a lot because we don't have that high of water needs here. We're gonna have one sink on the middle, we're gonna have, probably have a faucet out front for washing off stuff, but we're not gonna probably drain this tank that much. These two little outlets here, one is for water and one is for the power to go to the pump. So we're gonna have our pump's wire coming out of here. We'll plug into a little receptacle on the house and then the water that we're gonna use, the water that'll go to our sink and our faucet will come out of a pipe here. It'll go into the house and we'll tie it all into the plumbing in the house. How proud are you about all those screws that are just perfectly straight? Pretty proud. That's probably the number one question that I get on my YouTube channel every time we show installing sheets. How do you guys get those lines so straight? I always look at you and I'm like, how are you so straight? <laughs> how could you be? <laughs> it does look really good and that was a really good idea. Uh, did you come up with that or did you steal no, it from somebody? No, I did not come up with that. It's a good idea for sure. Pretty awesome. Looking good. Okay, we'll show you the front now. Prepare yourselves for the unveiling. Shh, I'm trying to make a video of Demo Ranch. HQ. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum, ba. Hey Eric. How you doing man? What do you think? So far so good. So far so good. So basically we just need a house where we can plan videos and have supplies and this is it. So this, this is our porch. They're doing the other gutter on that side. This is our porch here. It's a 10 by 24, right? Yep. And this is all gonna be finished out in the same gray, that right there actually. You won't see any of this red iron here. Let's, let's go ahead and go inside. Check it out. We have window there, window there. This is the main room over here. This is a sink. Yeah, there's our sink. Wash your hands, please. Got to be you know, careful with all the current situations, so keep clean. There's a towel. There's going to be a wall coming right through here, so you'll see there is a door there to get into this room, which is the main room. Ideally going to be air conditioned. <laughs> Once to get some AC out here. And then this room over here, there's a garage door that will be here eventually. And this is going to be storeroom for the paint, the accessories, all the supplies and everything. Shelves. Shelves all over. The uh, Probably the Pew Pew Freedom Seeds, we'll store those in here, maybe in a big safe. Yep. Um, and then this ceiling is gonna be this tall pretty much, right? Yep. We're gonna come frame it all in. So it's gonna you know, bring it down four inches, but it's gonna be about the same height, which about is 13 feet at the peak. 13 feet tall there. So nice, big, tall ceilings. Place is coming together well. So what's next, Eric? So next we frame it with wood, mm -hmm. and then we we'll do electrical. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully we have electrical. Hopefully, uh, run the water, which is not much. And then after we get all the perforations done, we seal them really well, and then we foam the entire thing. We're Perfect. gonna use foam insulation. Perfect. And so, have you ever done an off the grid, a completely off the grid build? Not yet. Sweet. Well, yeah. that's why we're like trying to trying to piece it all together because neither one of us has ever done this. So we're trying to figure out how to make this thing completely off the grid. No ties to city water or power or anything. No sewer, nothing like that. Yeah. I, think it, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna happen. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the Demo Ranch HQ build. I will see you on the next one. Go check out Texas Barn Dominion. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I love you. We'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.